Hello everyone and welcome to the Cricket 24 launch preview here today. We are going to go over all of the features promised or I guess not promised anymore as Cricket 24 finally does drop tomorrow as of recording this video. In fact, maybe even a few hours from now, depending on how it all goes. We're going to go over everything that the game has to offer or that the game was going to offer at one stage before they made some backtracks obviously with the delaying of Cricket 24 from June to October. Straight away I'd like to talk about Pro Team being scrapped or at least supposedly being scrapped. It was in the marketing at the start of the game as the big new upgrade to Big 11 from Cricket 22 to 24 it was going to finally make its full transition into Pro Team being I guess the ultimate team edition of the Cricket game. Not to be at least not that we've heard since it finally was announced back in April, I think it was. We've heard not a peep really since June, so it looks like that's going to be scrapped at least for now. I hear that they, they are doing it for AFL 23, at least at a later date. So I imagine within the next 6 to 12 months, Pro Team will be introduced back into the game uh, for Cricket 24, at least in a proper format. So that should be exciting. Hopefully that's the case at least. Otherwise, worst case, we're going to be seeing it in Cricket 26, which will be another two years away, we imagine. There was some talk about the Test or T20 styles of play in career mode, like being able to pick which side or I guess which like facet of play you want to be, whether that's an all format player or just a T20 one day specialist. I haven't really heard anything since that was kind of, I guess, rumored uh, by the retailers of the game for Cricket 24. I haven't heard anything about that, so that may or may not be in there. I haven't seen it in any of the marketing, and if that's the case, I'm going to probably presume that it's an unlikely chance for that to to make it to the game at this stage because what has been heavily marketed is the licensing they did a whole cricket 24 dev diary did big ant studios for the game obviously where they basically ross and the team kind of talked about the amount of licenses that they have in the game now which includes the ipl teams or at least some of them i think the teams that are included are the punjab kings mumbai indians lucknow super giants delhi capitals and the gujarat titans from what i have found online so far so that's at least promising upgrade from cricket 22 to cricket 24 as well as the player scans have been massively upgraded from cricket 22 to cricket 24 because at the start of cricket 22 glenn phillips did not have any hair whatsoever which is obviously not true and now he has it looks like in the um dev diary anyway got a proper full face scan so that's awesome to see on a player base as well with the pads and the gloves being i guess sponsored now they're proper sponsored sponsorship pads and gloves and helmets and stuff all looks really authentic gear that is a massive upgrade i have to say visually that's very good to see but we did also miss one big thing in the most recent teaser trailer that came out today many of the youtubers out there you've probably seen have covered it which is the teaser trailer it was it was 20 seconds going over well not a whole lot to be honest it kind of just showed like the stadium lighting up it showed a couple of players walking onto the pitch it did show like an, an interesting like 100 entrance as Jos Butler and Phil Salt walked onto the pitch and Rohit Sharma walking onto the pitch as well. But other than that, it didn't really show any gameplay whatsoever. That does have me worried for what the game is going to look like going into tomorrow. I really, really don't know. The graphics don't look that much better, but I'm actually a big fan of that because I think that means they've put their energy into gameplay or at least in theory. It means that they've put their energy into gameplay, which is what I would have wanted to see for this game because visually speaking the game looked really good in cricket 22 and it looks visually good in cricket 24 they kind of just need to get the gameplay right and make it a more entertaining game as a whole or a more complete game with the fielding not being broken etc etc so we'll have to see how that turns out but it's not a great sign that the, the 20 second teaser today had zero gameplay in it whatsoever that is a bit of a worry for me it looks like the ui is very similar as well which i mean I, i'm not I'm like that bugged about it but if it's a new game i kind of want a new feel to it as well a new look to it at least or the ui wise at least so to see the ashes ui not really update again a bit of a bummer but i did see it that they've kind of included like a different ui though if you if you get out 
or I guess if you hit 50, it's like a, it's a very different aesthetic. I'll probably put a screenshot on the screen right now versus the last game. It was very, very different. So that's at least something. Um, but otherwise, my thoughts on the game, are, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be different. We'll see how different. Uh, apparently the Super Smash has been licensed as well. That's one of the big features that has been rumored with the trophies being announced I think just last week and the Super Smash was on that trophies list as well as the PSL so that's exciting I don't know if the full thing's going to be licensed or not though because I just don't see how that's going to be the case it's been it come up in none of the marketing though so again it's, it's hard to know it's really hard to know with the Super Smash whether it's going to be fully licensed or not but supposedly it's in the game in some sort of licensed fashion so that's awesome to see and it will make my career mode easy to do on day one because me making Auckland could be more of a possibility much earlier than it otherwise would have been but I will say I'm skeptical going to Cricket 24 it's obviously been delayed from uh, being announced back in April to being supposedly Cricket 24 the official Ashes or the official game of the Ashes back in June and then it didn't come out after we heard nothing in the lead up to it and then even for this release date for the 5th of October which obviously is the World Cup starting date we've heard nothing until the last four days so it's really it's it's tough to know how this release is going to go for Big Ant. AFL obviously was a bit of a disaster for that release, a bit being a bit a very big understatement, but we'll have to wait and see how Cricket 24 is going to turn out. I personally had a great experience with Cricket 22 when it launched on PC for me, so we'll have to see if Cricket 24 will live up to the, the, the hype that maybe some people are going to put on this game. I'm, I'm always going to be skeptical uh, with this launch, especially with the lack of build-up, I guess, and several other factors being that not much gameplay was shown in the teasers, but I'm sure all will be revealed tomorrow, so stay tuned for career mode on that. We're going to see uh, our first 5-5 game get played as well as soon as the game drops, and we've got plenty of other content coming, including I'll look over the player ratings and also how to download the teams if you don't know already how to do that for the Big Ant games. And other than that, everyone, I will see you all tomorrow for an exciting, action-packed day of Cricket 24 action. I think it's all going to be coming to a head tomorrow onwards. It's really a busy time in October, November. I can't wait for it all to unpack and unfold, though. And I can't wait to begin our new journey on Cricket 24. The good or the bad, I'm ready to bring it on. Until tomorrow, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, take care, everyone.